Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, it is going to be another player review. It's a guy that I saw from this week's Team of the Week. He stood out the most to me, I thought. This guy looks phenomenal. His 84 rated card was phenomenal. It is on none other than Abdoulaye Ducore from Watford, the French midfielder. Guess this Cam 86 rated informed card. And what is he going to be like in game? Because in stats wise, and based on his 84 rated, I think he is going to be incredible. So if you enjoyed today's review, smash the like down below and subscribe as always for much more FIFA 20 content. I think that this is probably the most hyped apart from Ben Yedder and Mbappe, one of the more attainable players from this week's team of the week. And I just want to show how good or how bad this card is in today's video. So guys, it comes in at around 100,000 coins on all consoles. And I think that's a decent price. The 84 rated goes for around 36,000 to 40,000 coins on all consoles. So it's pretty much over double. Are you going to get double the um, output? Probably not, but let's see what he's actually like. So, stats wise, what does he get boosted from the previous one? Plus three to the pace, plus three to the shooting, two to the passing, two to the dribbling, two to defending, and two to the physical. That's a really, really nice boost for a second in form, in my opinion, instead of like the plus ones, things like that. He's got 79 finishing, which is uh, decent for a midfielder. The one thing with Ducore is you have to remember before we look at the in-game stats, is he is medium defensive, high attacking. So if you might be looking at Ducore to be like a CDM for you, just focusing on defending, yes, he can do that, but he is also really, really good at getting forward, so can play um, the box-to-box -box role quite well. He's got 70 acceleration, 78 sprint speed, 66 agility, uh, balance of 73, reactions 84, ball control 86, dribbling 84, composure 79, which is really, really nice. He's six foot, so to have them dribbling stats, is quite unique in my opinion. 79 positioning, 79 finishing, 91 shot power, 82 long shots, 74 volleys, um, he's got 88 interceptions, fantastic, 71 heading accuracy, 85 defensive awareness, 89 stand tackle, 81 slide tackle, 82 vision, he has himself 87 short pass, 80 long pass, he's not going to be um, as good as passing as Tielemans, but it's still decent. 75 jumping, a huge 96 stamina, 83 strength and 81 aggression I think for an inform and as for a Premier League French midfielder with so many links he looks really really nice what we do is we have him in this team next to Laurent Blanc we play him in a 4-2-3-1 he's our box to box we don't tell him to stay back we tell him to get and um, we just tell him to stay balanced he does a great job of defending and attacking what we'll do is we'll get into a live division rivals match and uh, I, I will hopefully get the win. We don't normally get the win in the live matches, but hopefully get the win. And then I'll show you the highlights that I did manage to get with this card. Talk about his pros and cons. Our opponent then for today's live game is going to have... Wow, that is an interesting team. He's doing awesome men. So once again, we will give him the win in this game. Um, I had a few messages from guys the other day when we let them have the win. One managed to get the header. And he was just like, it was such a relief getting the header. Um... But yeah, it's always good to try and just be positive. Hopefully, we can get the win, and then we'll give him the win. But I say, oh, I'll give them the win, and then they just beat me. But hopefully, Ducore can come in clutch. Boss the midfield, Ducore. Lovely pass straight away into Ben Yedder. And look at him. He's making sort of balanced runs forward, I would say. Dan James, lovely dribbling. Into Ducore. Back to Icone. Can he get the spin? No, he can't. And let's see. Ducore coming back, defending. It's going to be interesting to see whether he can do both roles effectively, whether he can attack, can he score goals, can he defend really, really well as he gets the interception there, but does lose the ball due to the lag. Ducore, again, lovely interception. This connection is awful, but he seems to be just blocking all of the uh, passes. Ducore, once again, I think that's three interceptions in the first 10 minutes for me. And... Um, He's, he's what you expect. He is exactly what you expect, just winning the ball back and feels actually fantastic just dribbling with the ball as well. I've been really, really impressed with the games I've played with him so far with the dribbling. Again, Ducore does well, loses the ball, but wins it straight back. I mean, there are a few players um, and one comes to mind straight away. It's Baby Vieira. Baby Vieira has a really, really strong resemblance to this Ducore card. Um, this Ducore card is probably um, better at attacking than Vieira but defensively it just seems like they get the foot to everything which is really really important for a CDM on this game easy as that boys easy as that 19 minutes in 
And I think when you are getting so many interceptions with a card, you can really, really see their importance to the team. And Daniel James does get us the goal from the tackle from the main man, Duke Corey. So great start for us in this game. Tracking back. What's his speed like? He's massive. He really looks huge in game. And Duke Corey, again, is doing so well. And he reminds me um, of the time we did the versus episode. Episode Kante versus Duke Corey. If there's any versus episodes you want to see back on the channel, let me know down in the comments because I really, really do enjoy doing um, that series. Here we go. The ball roll to escape Kante in the pass. Not the best for once. The pass wasn't the best. Ducore running forwards. And that's look at the power. Look at the power from Ducore just bursting forwards. And I hope this guy doesn't leave because I'm gonna give him the um I'm gonna give him the free objective. Ducore intercepting Ronaldo, but it's been intercepted. And Ossiman gets a shot. Ducore there. Looked a bit uh, weak up against Cristiano Ronaldo, which, I mean, it's a tough ask to be really, really strong against Ronaldo. Ducore running away from the attackers and past his teammate there with ease. And just look at him go. He really, really is fantastic. Again, box, box to box, and that genuinely is his best position. I think that you don't really want to um, just have him as a CDM in a team. You want to be playing him. Oh my days, what a goal by Icone. You don't want to play him as a CDM, just stay back whilst attacking. You want him to get forwards as well because he really, really strides with the ball amazingly well. Ducore. I'm not even controlling Ducore there. And he's making these tackles, which are just icon level, to be honest. He's right up there with, I don't know, about as smooth on the ball as Blanc, but his tackles are as good as Blanc. I think it's 20 minutes to go. I've seen enough with Ducore to see that he's an amazing player on this game. What I'm going to do now is hopefully try and give this guy the finesse shots and, um, <laughs> and the headers. Let's go. This guy got the header with Ossiman, and that is... Just such a relief for this guy. I do believe that it's just good to be nice. And hopefully this guy is very relieved now because that is such a hard task to do. Um, if you've done the Aussie man, you know how hard the header is. And hopefully for this guy, we did him a big, big favour. So there we go. Live game over. We did play 70 minutes with Ducore and that was enough just to show me his quality. He won the ball back about four times in the first 13 minutes, which is just absolutely crazy. GG's to this guy. Enjoy your 88 rated Aussie men. Let's get into the highlights that I did manage to get with Ducore. So here we go then guys. Into the highlights that we did manage to get with Ducore. And um, there are abundance of different type of clips in this video. A lot of them tackling. Ducore showing his fantastic dribbling. And just a bunch of different things. Because this is what this Ducore does. He doesn't just do one thing. He doesn't just defend really well. He can attack. He can dribble. He is really, really well balanced on this game. But what are some of his best... Um, stats in game well it starts off with surprising one for me if you see as you see um, a lovely goal from Ducore there in the first game it shocked me really it really really did shock me that that power on the shot but one of the best stats I think on the game is his pace and um, he only has 70 acceleration and 78 sprint speed but he does carry the ball very very well being six foot it feels like he moves a lot quicker than you would expect him to and um, for whatever reason really long strides maybe but I think that he gets around the pitch really, really well, as you see there. A fantastic display of his dribbling. Nearly gets an assist. Very, very unlucky to get an, uh, to not get an assist in that one. Carrying the ball. Just carrying the ball is fantastic, guys. How well does he carry the ball? Well, 86 ball control, 84 dribbling. Feels a lot higher in game. I think that when you get this guy going, he is like a steam train. You do not want to stop him. The only way the opponent can stop him is by fouling him. I got fouled so many times just running with the ball with him. Because they just want to take him out. They see him as a real threat. And I think if you play Ducore, you know he is a nuisance going forward and defensively. His um, short pass is really, really good too. 8-7 short pass. A lovely pass into Werner there as he does a really poor pass. The short pass is decent. We'll talk about the long pass in a minute. But the short pass is really reliable on the left foot too. The three-star weak foot. Which for me is a bit of a con for the shooting. But for the passing, it's absolutely fine. This guy can go all game long. 96 stamina. It's just... Fantastic. What more can you say? It's just really, really good. You can play him 120 minutes and he'll be absolutely fine. 
His defensive positioning, 88 interceptions as well, so good. How many times does he intercept the ball for me? And how many times will he intercept the ball for you guys if you do pick him up? He's like Vieira, to be honest. Like Patrick Vieira, the 86 version, really, really similar in my opinion. Um, his strength, 83 strength, 81 aggression, feels really, really good, especially with his six foot frame. I think that he can like bully people off the ball and just be really, really strong in possession. That's what you need for a midfielder on this game. And he's just really well balanced. There aren't many stats which are like, uh, oh, that's kind of a weak area to his game. He's really well good. At, he's really good at getting forward, really good at defending and just holding it down in that midfield. So you can rely on him to be a well-rounded midfielder. The downsides would have to be the vision, 82 vision. You don't really see too many amazing passes with him, especially when I'm used to using Telemans, who's just an amazing uh, passer on this game. His finishing, 79, he hit the post twice in one game, one here really, really did frustrate me. I would have just loved if he was able to get them two goals because it would have just been fantastic for him. And 75 jumping and the 71 heading accuracy for a guy who's six foot, I expected more. And the 80 long pass, it's not the best guys, it is not the best. Few other ones which aren't massive, I would say the 81 slide tackle, I don't really go in for the slide tackles but he did feel... Kind of clunky when you did go into the slide tackles. 66 agility, speaking of clunky, but I didn't find that was an issue, to be honest. With the position he plays, I don't need 99 agility on my CDMs and the 43 curve. He's not going to be doing them Telemans passes or PLO passes, however you want to describe them. But he does nice little passes into Icone and to my other players. So for an overall rating, he's such a good midfielder on this game and I really do hate playing against him. I think for an overall, I'm going to give him an 8.8. .8. I think you can't really go wrong, 90,000, 100,000 coins on this second informed Ducore. I would snap him up. I think I'm going to keep him in my team for this weekend alongside Blanc, alongside Telemans. We don't know yet, but guys, that is going to be it for today's review. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash the like down below and subscribe for a lot more 20 content. Icon moments tomorrow. Will we be able to pack them? We will find out. See you all tomorrow.